Are you ready? Are you ready? Hi, my lovelies. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing amazingly well. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the biggest <laughs> dents in my perfume collection. But before I start this video, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Kindly give this video a thumbs up and let me know what your scent of the day is. Now, I'm not going to go into too much details because these perfumes, we all know a lot of us love, some of us hate. It is what it is. Um, and I'm just going to like speed through them because there are quite a few perfumes that I put a huge dent in because I love this perfume so much. I find them to be addictive. I found them to just makes me feel good. I get lots of compliments when I wear these perfumes. They layer really well with each other. They, there are so many reasons why I'm obsessed with every single perfume I'm going to mention in this video. Kicking it off with Kayali Vanilla 28. I have, I'm still saving my little <laughs> five ML here. Vanilla 28 is a staple for me. It's a staple perfume that I will always repurchase. I have a backup bottle. I think I have two backup bottles actually. And I'm leaving those there to really macerate because I find that Kayali perfumes do get better with time. And this one definitely got better with time. This is vanilla and sugar, like brown sugar. This is so good. Like Kayali did themselves so proud with this perfume i believe this is their best seller this is the one that everybody loves and i feel like this is not a vanilla for just vanilla lovers like anyone that likes to smell good will like this perfume it may not be a love for me it's a it's a big love because i love how versatile it is how it makes so many perfumes that i find to be masculine it kind of like feminize them a little bit and i love it for that reason so that is vanilla 28 by kiali the next one is ambrosia imperial by ai the great and navitas guys look at this look at this dent now this is a i think this is 150 mil this is this is a big bottle and when i got this perfume i <laughs> I couldn't stop wearing it. I couldn't, like, I had to actually pause, like, Abby, stop, wait a minute, <laughs> and let this perfume rest. I wore this to everywhere, work, parties, date night, everywhere. And I got so many compliments with this perfume. Now, this is banana. This is saffron. This is a juicy, beautiful, inviting, intoxicating, super sexy I love i would always have ambrosia in my collection as long as navitas makes this perfume i will repurchase because it's so beautiful and i enjoy the banana note in this perfume now i'm seeing a few banana perfumes are on the rise you know they're coming out and i'm just like oh i can't wait to get my nose on all the banana perfumes that i'm seeing that are coming out once i've gotten my nose on a few more banana perfumes i will definitely bring them out to you guys because it's such a unique note that people don't really put in perfumes it's very rare to find a banana note in a perfume and you guys already know how much i love bananas if you want a unique smelling banana perfume that is sweet addictive and sexy get your nose on this one asap Oud Bouquet by Lancome. <laughs> Check this out, guys. Like, Oud Bouquet is one of my favorite, favorite designer perfumes ever. This might be number one for me. Now, Oud Bouquet is your Oud, Rose, Praline, Vanilla, super, super sweet. This is sweet, just the way I like it. This is amazing. This is one of the best, in fact, this is the best from Lancome, like point blank. This is a compliment beast. I wear this perfume because there's never, I kid you guys not, there's never a time I pull for Oud Bouquet that somebody doesn't compliment me. It's such a beautiful scent on my skin. It suits my skin so much. It suits my personality so well. I layer this a lot with my Delina Exclusive because that combination is everything. So that is Oud Bouquet by Lancome. Now you guys can't see the dent in my Delina Exclusive, but the way I've spoken about this perfume, everyone I know, every woman I know has this perfume in their collection and as much as i like that i also dislike that because i can't wear this perfume when i see these people because i don't want to smell like them i don't want to smell i want to smell different 
but it's kind of looking like i won't be smelling different anymore because everyone that i've put onto this perfume adores this perfume this is such a beautiful rose powdery sweet floral just amazing this is my favorite perfume yes this is my favorite perfume i know a lot of perfume reviewers can't really say this is their favorite but i can say that delina exclusive is my favorite perfume because it has everything i look for in a scent it has it just embodies me like if you guys meet me this is what i smell like this and oud bouquet is what i smell like maybe 80 percent of the time because the scents just bring out a certain i don't know a certain vibe out of me i just can't what was that <laughs> it just brings a little something in me and i just really really love it pineapple by dolce and gabbana is officially empty this perfume dolce and gabbana if you're watching this you guys need to bring this back and bring this back and not reformulate it to some rubbish i beg because pineapple is beautiful pineapple is a tropical juicy pine like a sweet like the inside of a pineapple is sweet is juicy you literally want to just drink this because it smells so realistic so amazing that this is from the fruit collection there's a lemon one and there's an orange one forget those two if you can get this one just get this one i have a backup yes i have a backup bottle i did decant this for a few people but this is 150 mil and i think i got this about two years ago i want to say and i used it so much in the spring and summer this is the ultimate fruity scent for spring and summer i love this I don't think i'm gonna get rid of this bottle because i just i just like it like, i feel like i can use it to decorate somewhere or something but yeah pineapple by dolce and gabbana is amazing dolce bring this back please next is my baby changing constance by penhaligons this is my second favorite perfume of all time now it was always a toss between constance and delina exclusive but the thing about delina exclusive is that I can smell it on myself all the time like when i wear it i don't need anyone to tell me i smell good because i can smell myself with constance constance disappears around about five hour mark and that's the only edge that delina has over constance but in terms of the scent profile i love them both equally now this is your pimento cardamom salted caramel vanilla this is so good i love it this is a sweet and spicy gourmand that just smells super addictive it's definitely my favorite from pen halligans uh actually from the portrait collection because they have the trade routes they have the um the potions collection but out of the portraits constance is my favorite it will always be my favorite because this perfume got me through 2020 like i know it's weird to say perfume got you through a certain period of time in time but it did it did perfume for me is therapeutic perfumes for me is just it's just not a scent it's a lot more to it like when i'm down i come and smell my perfume i sniff my nozzles yes you might think i'm a weirdo but that's because if you think i'm a weirdo for doing that then you're not that into perfumes but i am really into perfumes and i sniff them when i'm sad i sniff them when i'm happy i love waking up in the morning and choosing my scent of the day it's hard to choose a scent of the day but it makes me happy it's always the highlight of my day it's what makes me look forward to going out you know how i smell how i feel but anyhow this is <laughs> changing constance by pen halligan note vanille by m Micalef. now i am going to stop using this because note vanille is very expensive this was kindly gifted to me by the brand a while ago um i think i can't even remember if it's been a year two years but i love this this is one of the best vanillas i have ever gotten my nose on i want this so badly i want another bottle and another bottle i just love the the elegance of this perfume is unmatched like this perfume was made with perfection it is perfect i love so next is malo by soradora this perfume is not even three 
okay maybe it's three months old in my collection i think i introduced this perfume to you in january of this year and i'm i'm obsessed i'm obsessed with malo if you like perfumes like i want to say insolence by golan if you like a sweet um powdery um iris forward um violetty kind of scent you are going to love this this is beast mode like don't play with malo this is so long lasting i'm talking 12 hours plus this is so good this is perfect for any season any occasion i'm obsessed um i have a 10 percent discount code on all of soradora perfumes but i love malo the most i do malo is my absolute favorite i'm so glad i discovered this perfume i think it's absolutely amazing next is black tie by celine now this is not as big of a dent as the rest and i'll tell you why this is a pricey <laughs> a pricey pricey designer perfume this was also a gift from my husband i tend to use my gifted items sparingly i tend not to use them so much because i cherish them um black tie is another vanilla that is so sophisticated like top tier vanilla um i remember discovering this a few years back actually i was at selling counter at arrows and i was checking out their bags and then i saw that they had like a range of perfumes and i was just like oh wow this is actually like a really like a lot of people don't talk about selling perfumes but i beg you please next time you go to a department store if they have selling there go and sample every single one of their perfumes and you guys will come back and tell me they literally isn't one that's bad all of their perfumes are so amazing but this is my favorite of course it's my favorite this is a vanilla it's vanilla it's like a buttery type of vanilla scent i'm obsessed clearly another one is neroli blanc intense now this perfume i will always rave about this if, if you're new here hi my name is abby i love neroli blanc intense and i also love orange blossom this is, this is the best orange blossom perfume that i've ever had my nose on i keep telling you guys get your nose on this one you probably can't because they don't do samples but is it blind by safe yes i will say it's blind by safe because everyone that's gotten this perfume love it they love it and it's not gonna break the bank this is a niche perfume that is cheaper than your average designer perfumes this is a brand that i love like they are so down to earth their perfumes are amazing this is the this is their best seller this is my personal favorite this is the one i will always rave about because it's such a beautiful scent i could never get sick of it you know sometimes when you have a perfume in your collection that you wear quite often you can get like okay let me change it up i never feel like that with this the only reason i don't wear it is so i can use the rest of my perfumes this is amazing if you like orange blossom if you like a sweet gourmand scent that is quite fresh and floral get yourself neroli blanc intense and last but not least is oriana by performance de mali i don't know how i'm gonna show you this dent but i'm around about there like here i don't know if it's showing but this is nearly done and performance de mali perfumes are not cheap so i need to ease up on this beautiful fresh citrusy orange blossom marshmallow perfume that i'm so in love with i know there are a few dupes out there and i did try some of those dupes and i oh, didn't like them i didn't i didn't like them personally i feel like oriana is just a fantastic scent it smells very similar to love don't be shy but it's not as cloying because of that citrusy notes at the top is giving more likable is giving easier to smell easier to the nose is giving all year round like oriana is a feminine beautiful perfume that i'm just so obsessed with there's so many perfumes in my collection that i have a huge dent on but if i were to touch on every single perfume this video will be very very long indeed actually there's one more perfume Ambre Nuit by Christian Dior. Now, this is a 250 ml bottle. 250 ml? And I got it here and I'm not touching this perfume anymore. 
until i can buy myself a brand new 250 ml i don't want a smaller bottle of this i need the biggest bottle i can get because amber new it is a beautiful sparkling rose perfume that's giving sweetness and needs to be super super long lasting it projects like people will smell you people will smell you with amber new i constantly get complimented when i wear this beautiful perfume i'm obsessed clearly like i'm obsessed um if you want to contribute to the funds to get me a new amber new it do drop me a super thanks it could be a pound it could be two dollars it doesn't have to be a lot of money drop me a super thanks let me save up to buy this perfume again because i love it so much i hope you guys have enjoyed this video let me know what you'd like to see next like comment it down below like whatever video ideas you've got let me know i always keep notes of every single um suggestions and ideas and i will always do my best to bring you those videos um i hope you guys have enjoyed watching thank you so much for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye